At the University of Utah, we spent a lot of time focusing on seriously mentally ill folks, but at the same time we recognize that the future really is outpatient services. And in the last couple of years, we have uh, worked to integrate ourselves into our primary care setting. We have a unique setup because we have this freestanding inpatient psychiatric facility. The Department of Psychiatry at the University of Utah has a strong collaboration with our community clinics. Uh, this is integrated care with uh, medicine, family medicine, as well as psychiatry, which allows us to provide early detection and early intervention for psychiatric illnesses when it is still early in the process of illness, so it can be better treated with better outcomes. We have invested a lot of time and energy with help from the county in diversion services. If you come to us, we are going to work very hard to get you the right level of care, be it inpatient, be it outpatient, be it day treatment, try and find the best fit for your needs at that time. I think our department has a lot of potential in the way that it's expanding. We've had a long tradition of uh, excellent clinical care. What's kind of new and up and coming is a merging of that uh, clinical care with really cutting edge uh, research, especially the clinical research that we think can lead to really transformative therapies. The research that we're doing in our department is actually shaping and reforming healthcare from a number of different perspectives. Previous research has focused on identifying the pathophysiology or the underlying mechanisms of illness. But the newer research is identifying the risk factors so we can provide early intervention and also focusing on developing better treatment outcomes. The University of Utah is unique in that it has a world-class genetics program that is really unparalleled, and that is very open for collaboration with other departments such as neurology, psychiatry, and has allowed us to ask questions that you couldn't really ask anywhere else. Well, in Utah, we have a big advantage, which is that we can study big families. Uh, that's an aspect of the culture here. What we can do then is to look for genetic variation that is shared among these big families. And when we look at it that way, the sharing of variation magnifies an effect. So we see it over and over and over, repeated within this family. It's like putting a magnifying glass up to this variation. And so what we use is a DNA sequence, so figuring out all of the base pairs across the whole genome, and then looking at what is shared within that sequence in these big high-risk families. The Utah Population Database uh, here at the University of Utah allows us to detect uh, particular groups of individuals who may be at risk or develop particular illnesses like psychiatric illness or treatment, uh, refractory depression, substance abuse, um, autism and developmental disorders. Looking at particular uh, groups of people and cohorts allows us to look at the genetics and the etiology, the causes of disease. Treatment-resistant depression is uh, a form of depression that doesn't respond to conventional treatments. In our department and in the Department of Psychiatry and at the University Neuropsychiatric Institute, we see um, more than 500 patients a year um, with this uh, condition. What we can provide is a really specialized treatment that is not available elsewhere. We provide brain stimulation therapies, for instance, expert pharmacological treatments to help get people back on track. The other area that the University of Utah is really building on is its neuroscience program. It has a number of uh, outstanding basic neuroscience researchers who are working collaboratively on clinical problems. We know that we need to help the primary care provider manage more mental health problems within the medical home. Myself and my colleagues developed GATE four or five years ago to address the problem of never being able to train enough child psychiatrists and really psychiatrists. This is a web-based program that collects information from the patient or the patient's family or maybe a crisis worker that's working with the patient and summarizes it quickly for us in an email. Then once we have that, we can then call the primary care provider and talk with them about the case and make suggestions and do what a lot of people have called in my profession is a curbside consult or a hallway consult. Yet it's more powerful because I've got information from the patient as well. 
future directions in the Department of Psychiatry here at the University of Utah include expanding our research base. So we are currently hiring into health services and outcomes. So we can actually do better interventions early in the community to treat psychiatric illnesses more effectively and less expensively. We also are developing a strong neuroimaging and genetics infrastructure to develop better detection for different forms of psychiatric illnesses and develop better treatments for them.